Good evening, it's half past seven, and of course it's a Tuesday night. Live here from Scott Valley Hairdressing. We did say we're going to be on at half, well we said we're going to be on at 7.20, so make sure you get the time right. It is half past seven, yes, live from Scott Valley Hairdressing. We did say we'll be on at 7.20, but hey, we're here. We're live and direct with you tonight, in your living room, in your house, on your laptop, on your tablet, wherever you are around the world. Big good evening for joining us from all over the world tonight, especially those of you that are in Australia, at Mook Central, especially Clive, Leo, Paula, Mark, great to see you. Always a pleasure to have you with us tonight. Also, we're from Mook Central, woo, in the United Kingdom, especially VA. Tried to ring you today a few times, but you're an answer machine. You're an old man to get hold of, more hold than the Queen. Also, the little bit Justina, if you're watching also tonight, and everybody else from Mook Central. Also, a big good evening to, yes, you can remember, Big Mate. Of course, big good evening to Big Mate, and also Lynn Marie Atkinson. And let's not forget, of course, uh, Grace and Cara. I'm guessing that you're watching tonight also. Uh, Nick McCaffrey, guessing you're on as well tonight soon. And Dan Metcalf, I'm guessing that you'll be on there also tonight because, of course, I know you love to join us. Sharon, I'm guessing you'll be on there as well, Sharon McCaffrey. And, of course, let's not forget, Raj from the A5. Sweet treats slash bubble boys slash A5 cars. Great to see you with us tonight. Sukala, conduce. Be good if you are joining us tonight as well. When you play this back, I'm sure you'll love hearing those words tonight. So, to those of you that are not hairdressers, welcome. Tonight is a journey. I always talk about these events. It's a special event, always. I want to do hair. I always think of it as, well, with any hairdresser, it's uh, like creating a canvas, a painting, a drawing. You start with a, uh, a raw item, and then it comes into something really, really special. And that's what these nights are all about. They were created especially for you as the hairdresser, and you as the viewer, so we can actually share what we do here at Scott Bailey Hairdressing and what hairdressers do as a living using special techniques, how we stand, body positioning, all things what are in my head, I'll share with you tonight. Before we showcase you the model that we're going to be working with tonight, great model tonight, you'll really enjoy who I'm going to be working with. Um, the fun of entertaining as well, <laughs> trust me. Um, <laughs> but uh, the great thing about this is it's great to share with people and that's what this was originally set up as a communication network where we could communicate how the muck products work in harmony with the haircut. And again, products are really important. I cannot um, sort of explain to you enough that the muck products work beautifully with the haircut, which you'll see tonight, how we showcase the products, how they work in celebration with the haircut that we produced this tonight. It's all about the cutting techniques, it's also all about the products, how they work together. Because you as the person, when you go home, are able to style your hair the way that the hairdresser has created that look for you. So, We'll be showcasing all that tonight and showing to you how we do that. As I say, it's great to have everybody with us because I know there'll be a lot of you watching tonight. It's a brand new time that you'll be watching. We will be having a break for two weeks. This will be the last one tonight. So know people will say that. We were originally going to do three. We're now on 33 tonight. So, you know, we've been doing it for nearly a year. Thanks to my dad. Let's put him on quick. <laughs> Here he is. <laughs> Paul Long, good to see you on there tonight. And Hannah Trentfield, I can see you on there very quickly. Bro, good to see you with us tonight. We've got no handbrake award tonight. We've got a flower award instead on here, just for a change. But uh, Hannah Trentfield, I'm sure you'll be pleased in a second to see you we're gonna bring out. So, without further ado, let's bring out the model tonight. So it gives me great pleasure to introduce to you tonight a previous model that we've used on live shows. I thought tonight it was only right to bring this person on tonight and we thought well let's just bring her in and we'll put her into this special group of people tonight. Please give it up for the one and only Charlotte Morsley. Woo! You're on. I'm on. I'm on. Hi. Hello. Hi Hannah. Right. Hi. Charlotte, how would you like your hair this <laughs> evening? Um, I'm going to keep the length, add some layers and some shape back in because it's getting hot and That's my hair will just go Whoosh! <laughs> At the minute, I'm just going to a triangle, and that's not attractive. Tips, it's not good. Well, it? yeah, it's not good. What no tips would you like that. us to do tonight? Um, just get some shape back into it. Um, get like a bit of a whoosh going on. Swish. A bit of movement. A swish. Sorry, not a swoosh. A swish. Swish. Not swoosh. And so you'd like to leave some length and give it some yeah. shape. Okay, that's brilliant. 
Thank you very much. So there you go. That's a typical thing. Thank you very much. You're welcome. That's what a lot of typical ladies say. They say I'd like to keep the length. I'm really bored with it. I'd like something different. As Charlotte is very nice, etc. Is there with like a bit of a swish going on? So we're gonna need some kind of layering. So the way that will work and translate to you as the viewer is like this. We will be keeping the length in the back. So we're gonna be going with a nice straight line in the back, which is the most important part. So we'll be taking off uh, a good half an inch to three quarters of an inch off the back just to clean that up nicely. Now for those of you that don't know what an inch is, that's an inch. To me, we're gonna be going about that amount off just there. Some people say, oh yeah, an inch is like this. It's not. Then as we're coming around to the sides, we're gonna be going through with a razor to create a nice shape through here. We're gonna be looking at a C shape on this, which creates a nice shape coming through, preserving length, but also putting shape through. Then we're gonna be working with a layer in the back which will be at a 45 degree angled layer. Again, taking off a good half an inch to three quarters of an inch. It'll be a traveling guide that will go around to the corner of the chair, which again, what that will allow us to do is allow that swish through the back. If we were to just pull it all back, like the drawing a wardrobe, it would be heavy and the corners would look heavy. So by taking the corners off as such, that allows us to create more shape and movement in the hair. Now, the way we're gonna do that is also, as we follow this layer through, continue through on the rounder part of the head through the top, we're gonna to be following the shape of the head, and as we come through towards the front, we'll be shaping also a layer through to the front, which will again give us a heart shape on the face if we're blow drying it straight, and also if it's blow dried curly, which we'll be doing later on this evening with a different kind of blow dry, will create nice amount of movement in the hair. And what we'll be doing is working with the highway. <laughs> we'll be working with the highway in the hair. Say the highway, we need a roadmap. We need something to be able to follow so we as a hairdresser can actually cut hair and create a disciplined look. Now the only way to discipline yourself is to go with something that's protocol. So this is what we're working with the highway. So we're working on the recession bone. Then we'll go to Ross Cunningham's favorite bone, which is the parietal ridge. Now that divides the head in half where you've got a uniform layer that goes up square to a rounded layer that comes on the side and that then creates that bend which we know as professionals will give us the look. We'll go from there to the apex layer which is on the top which then commands the rest of it after that we've got upper occipital bone, the occipital bone which is the protruding bone, so protruding bone from the skull, I'll get it right to make the boom. What is it? A bone, a boom. Uh, which you would use as a graduated bob, which you've had previously in the previous life, which you would not go any shorter than that bone for the simple fact you'd lose the shape in the back. We're then going to go into the lower occipital bone, which is the starting point of our haircut tonight. We'll then be working with the mastoid process, which is the protruding bone in the back of the head here, which also denotes to the corner of the chair, which is where that layer will be coming through to on the mastoid process. We'll also then be using the nape bone, which is in the back of the neck. So that basically is what we're going to be using tonight and that's how the uh, yeah, yeah that's it that's how the um, the hard way of the hair will be working we'll also be working with products tonight fat muck blowout mousse we'll also be using fat muck volumizing shampoo and uh, the, uh, the spray because with the volumizing spray you'll find what it does is it wraps itself around the hair really fattens it up and the idea is it gives us lots of volume now when we come to the blow dry when we finish the haircut we'll then break give you a chance to put your children to bed have some dinner have a comfort break we'll carry on blow drying and be working a blow drying technique which i'll then explain to you before we go you will then come back with us hopefully fingers crossed and see us when we've got this sort of mad creation in the hair which then will take out and produce this look for you which is a bit like shell coal which you'll see a bit of magic use the can to create some movement with the muck hair lacquer and then you'll see exactly how it comes together at the end for the finale which i predict will be about an hour an hour and ten minutes time when we do that but getting back to what we're doing now it's important that we get the discipline in to begin with and i always say every haircut starts with a journey so let's use that first product and tonight's first product is going to be fat muck blowout mousse and what that will do is, it will do one of two things. Number one, it will allow us to create a shape. Thanks, it's a fire magic. It's a magic. That's right, it will allow us to see the shape and it will also, it contains conditioner. Now, the idea is you can see I'm applying this with uh, the comb because there's no product wastage. It also goes into the roots. And if you were to put this into a glass, it would disperse into a conditioner. So we're already starting to work on the canvas before we start to cut. And you can see, nothing's been wasted if you put two hands together it's okay but hairdressing is theatre 
Theatre is very important. When guests come into a salon, they'll be looking at you thinking, oh yeah, that looks really cool. If anybody's never done this before, try it and I guarantee you'll get a great result from it. And also it allows you to draw straight lines in the hair, which is very important. We're now working from the apex to the mustard process on our first section. As you can see, get a nice clean line. Clean lines means a nice clean hair of course it's really important to produce a nice clean haircut you've heard all this before looking on stage but of course now you're getting it when you see this later and watch this you'll see that nice clean line through the back which of course you don't see as a guest because you can't see around the back of your head because you've not got eyes in the back of your head some ladies have <laughs> they can see everything. can see everything so nice clean lines we can see now we're going to go down the back of the head well done dad Got a good move there tonight, I like your moves. We'll be doing the tango later. That's it, take him on in your dance class. We'll be doing some, it's really good tonight, it's feet are fragile. That's it, right, so now we're going into the lower occipital bone. You can see I'm doing it in one stroke as I'm doing this. It's really important just to get that line in as you're doing it. Keeping the sections really clean, again, this is really important because if you keep the sections really clean and tidy, it's uh, very important to do that. Is mum watching tonight? No. Oh, that's a shame I was going to say yeah, to her. Yeah, I forgot all about it. Oh, put it on. Oh, I forgot all about it. There you go. How about that? <laughs> well, she'll watch it yeah, later, no doubt. Oh, you put it on and just say, say Scott, Scott sends his love to you, mum, <laughs> when she watches it. <laughs> Who's joining us tonight, Daddy? Do we need to say right. good evening to? Who David Beckwith. David Beckworth, nice to see you, big man. Uh, I had a great time in Ireland. I've been watching you. I need to try some Guinness. I've never tried it. I hope you had, had a great birthday. Buster Dalton. Buster Dalton, what happened to you tonight? You were booked in at 6.15. But good to see you with us this evening. Just means I could start a bit earlier tonight. Thank Gavin you for Kirkham. that. Gavin Kirkham. Ah, yes, my favourite little nephew. Ah, yes. It's good to see you. Do you want to say hello to Gavin Kirkham quick? You know, going out with Lucy. I'm guessing Lucy is a... Tre oh, trees. It's hello to trees quick. Hi, Teresa. You're I'm, right. just you I'm just remembering these off the top, top of the head. Teresa. <laughs> Lewis oh, Brown. So Lewis Brown. Good to see them, my friend, tonight. Thank you very much. That's lovely. Thank Neil you. Cooper. Neil, nice Neil. to see you with us tonight. Hi, Excellent. Neil. Say hello, say hello. Hi. That's good. Right, so very, very quickly, when we look at the back, it's really important because a lot of people tend to, when they're at the college or where, yeah. whenever they're at wherever, the important thing is when you look at the, la the, uh, the section, right, so most people draw a section that's like that, okay, now the reason why I'm going to explain to you what we've done is because that's fine, no problem at all. This dictates the shape, so as you can see the lines coming down and pulling it down. You will see now that when you cut a straight line, you have to think of it like this, it's cut slightly bowed either side, so what that will do is, as it's blow dried, it will go straight. Now if you cut the line, straight in a straight line as such it will bow up on the sides and go high now we don't really want that because what we're after is the curved convex sort of shape now the idea of doing that is this is slightly at an angle so that tells me as i'm going down to slightly bend the comb so that means that when i draw it it will go straight so for those of you that have never known that that is how you produce a nice straight line so the other way of doing it of course is if you're doing it with fingers that's fine but it allows you to bend the hair and create graduation. If you're cutting through a comb with a real tight, um, fine grip on it, you will see that you can grip the hair real tight and you can now get a straight line. The comb becomes a ruler and it creates a real nice shape. So it's just going in now, keeping it real tight and just take the edge off there. And of course, this is the design line. This is the most important part. Now you can see I'm pulling this down slightly at an angle. Sounds like I'm doing a horse race today. And they're off. The gin skis down on the final row. That's it. So you can now see we've got a slight bend in there. Now coming through the other side. As we come up to the furlong, that's it. Just keep pulling the line dead straight. You can see just taking that off, but slightly at an angle. So now we've got that shape coming through. And what that will do is give us that nice bend which will then produce a nice straight line. Okay, so now we're gonna go down to the next part, which is we're gonna just uh, advance slightly and go straight past the upper occipital bone and the occipital bone and go straight to the apex. Because the hair's quite fine, we need to sort of move on a bit. The hair dries out quite quickly. So from this part, we'll be going then from here to the sides, which we'll be doing in a minute. So now just keeping all the sections nice and clean, because of course, as they say, with the sections, wetter is better. Because if it's dry, you won't be able to do anything with it. So now you see that we're going to go through here again. 
and make sure that everything's nice and clean. Trees, you see tonight, I've got the belt on that you bought me on there, tell David. So we'll just take off again, enough just to cover the line out and just keep it nice and clean. And again, the discipline is on that comb, making sure that that section's in there. Wait till you see this tonight when you look at your hair tonight. At least I pronounce your name right. <laughs> She didn't glare right me through the Nick mirror. McCaffrey. Nick McCaffrey, good to see you with us. Woo, broski, it's really good to see you. I did say hello to you earlier on, but great to have you with us tonight. I'm guessing you may be in Germany, Jersey, or you're at home. Wherever you are tonight, great to see you, bro. So come round the other side. I knew it'd be on at some point. Great to see you with us tonight. 314, 315. I made this awesome video the other week, and as I tell it, it was ever funner. It's not deep, deep southern accent. It was really funner. I'll really play it for you later. It's really fun. It's hilarious. Really funny, yeah. Well, I just found it funny. <laughs> you said really funny about five times, it was really funny. I did, I just found it really, it was funny. really funny. It's great. So now you can see the line in there, it's got that slight bend and that now gives us that shape. We check it off on the edges just to make sure it's clean and I know now that that's perfect. Cam right, Booth, our very first model. How are you my darling? I hope you're really well and I hope you're in as well too. Good to see you with us tonight. So she's following you and cutting the dogs uh... <laughs> Excellent. That's what I like to hear. Make sure you... Uh, Get the shape on the recession bone, that's what a lot's here. Our very first model. Grant here Mitchell Morgan. Grant Mitchell Morgan, nice to see you with us tonight. Hope you're really well, Grant. Good to see you there tonight. So now we're gonna work on the sides. What we're doing here is we're working with from the apex through to the recession bone. So now what this means is we're working on the side panel just to come around and make sure that that's level. So again, it's sort of about keeping the sections clean. You don't want to be pulling them back, so you're just pulling them around to the side. Yeah, nice. So now we can just bring this round. Again, it's all through the comb, the combs. Sue Birch. Sue Birch, great to see you with us tonight. Hello, darling. Nice to see you. Hopefully you're well. Deborah Phillips Hall. Deborah Phillips Hall, good evening. Nice to see you with us, sweetheart. I hope you're well. So it's just, uh, as we're coming through now, you can see the corner's really important just to keep that nice and clean. And again, it's all about just making sure the comb stays straight as you're doing this. You can see now that just joins in. We'll bring the next piece down. We'll get all the people from abroad soon. They will start coming on about this time now. So it's to change over time. Change over for the uh, as the sun rises from the east and goes down in the west. It's very sonic. Very what? <laughs> sonic. That's what it is. Well, the sun goes down in the west, doesn't it? Well, yeah. It rises in the east. Oh well, yeah. So sonic. That's it. There you go. So those that are in different countries now, the sun is rising from the east. <laughs> As here it's going down in the west. So you can now see the shapes just coming through and that gives us a really nice clean line. We're now just going to replicate that on this side. So again, it's best not to cut any corners because you don't really cut any corners, you want to keep everything nice and clean. So guys, you mean to start, as I said earlier, on keep the sections nice and clean and tidy and then we can then go on to the sides. Uh, just come around this side. My little friend will go up on the stairs. That's it, thank you, my little friend. That's good. <laughs> I say that because he, he used to tell me off when I was younger. That's what I used to get called, my little friend. Is that right, Dad? Correct. When you used to tell me off. What did you learn from that experience, my little friend? <laughs> so, no, no, Dad. That's what Dad used to say to me, my little friend. That's what he used to be called. Mm. So you can now see. Just coming through, that's why I say to my dad to, to move over there, my little friend. <laughs> he knows what I mean. It's just a bit of pet talk. So your mother will be on later. She'll be watching. Possibly. No doubt. Possibly. Your brother will be on anyway, after he's been out. So we're just coming through the side now, keeping this clean. Yeah, we're coming on watching, see what his sister's having a haircut like. You better be looking after my sister. I won't. I'm honest. <laughs> Cut it off. On the PlayStation. A lot of people do watch and that's the, the nice thing that people have made it what it is, which is what it's all about. So now we've got the shape coming through, you can see it's level both sides. Okay, on to the sides we go. So we need a razor. Okay, shall we go around this side, Dad? Just a minute, please, thank you. Right, so, so, so now we're going to divide this off. So we go apex to mastoid process. Now what we're doing is we're actually going to cut all the hair that's this side of the ear. The reason being, if you actually cut the hair this side of the ear, what will happen is it will start to go into a point in the back 
we don't really want that so the idea is to keep a straight line in the back it's everything goes that side of the ear remember when we cut in a moment we're going to be going from a shortest point wherever it's going to be here which Charlotte will choose in a moment through to the length we've got there which will then create a nice C shape ok let's come around this side because I need to just get around there ok who else has joined us tonight Dad? anybody else? Lorraine Marvelly Lorraine Marvelly great to see you I am so looking forward to going out with you with the Tony Guy crew um, at the end of next month great to see you with us tonight hope you're well great to see you it's been a long time too long ok so Hopefully some bacon's good too. So we're going from that point there, yeah. that point there. Excellent, let's go from there, that's good. So again, it's all about what the fingers are doing. So these fingers will move now as I start to cut, and then the blade will cut towards me. The idea is going to scoop it out and create a C-shape. So this is really important to do C-shape graduation. So zero elevation, we just go in, cutting it towards me. And as I'm doing this, I'm moving the finger. The important part is the finger's moving because without that, you don't preserve the length. So you can see now as I'm doing this, it's just coming through and getting a nice shape and it's creating a really nice look. Back to the old days, 1992 London, when I was at Tony and Guy, this is where we learnt all these tricks. That was the year after I was born. Well, thanks for that. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for that. How old does that make me feel? So there we go, I've got a nice C shape just in there. <laughs> Had to get it in there. Yeah, you did, that's nice. Well, I, I told you I like the banter, it's funny. It really is, it's good. So now we've got a slight disconnection just on the corner. That just comes off and that creates a nice shape. Let's go around to side two and create the same look. How would you like to come around here, Dad? Yeah, 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 so thank you. That's it. That's it. This would be the better angle to go with. Look how bossy you are when you. Well, I'm not bossy at all. Oh yeah. no, Boss. didn't bossy. Dan Metcalf's got. Dan Metcalf, <laughs> put him on quick. How's it going, sweetheart? Hope you're okay. Uh, you need to come up to Hinkley again so we can a cut your hair and b go out with Nick and we can have a boys' night out. Hope you're okay. Put the AMG cap on your daughter. I will need to see another photo of the two of you together. Okay, so coming through to the side. Hope you keep them well down. So again, the fingers are moving while we're doing this and creating the shape. Nick will be on in a minute. We're going three, one, five. Three, one, six. Coming on the 17, two cents. Excellent, I look forward to it. That'd be really cool to see you again. That'd be really good. So now just as I'm moving this, you can see the shape. And then just by taking that little piece off there, it just creates that really nice shape just coming through. Because again, the C shape is, I think, really complementary to a long haircut like this, especially when people say, um, I'm really fed up with it. it, you know, I need it still long and I just want to see some shape. So the C shape's really nice because it's such a dramatic layer. It just looks great when it's finished. Make sure look good when you curl it as well, it looks so nice. Graduation. Graduation, very good. You've been hanging around since for too long. Yeah. Doing my job soon. <laughs> <laughs> very good. <laughs> Thank you. Well, it's, 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 it's good input, it's very, very important. It is. Really, really good. Out there that's what they all say, I don't know what to do. Okay, Dad, let's go back around the other side again now. It's like a carousel. So we're going to go again now from, thank you, we're going to go from the apex again to the master process because that's the starting point. There's the discipline. And then again, what we're going to do now is work from the occipital bone, which is the protruding bone from the back of the skull, which is just here. This is the starting point. Has Lumerie Atkinson come on yet? Yes. Is she? Yes. She's getting sound from, I forget what it is, it's either the Galaxy phone for sound and the iPhone for picture. But whichever it is. Great to see you Lynn tonight and Big Mate and Grace. And I'm guessing Carla, Cara is there as well. So that way you can't go wrong with a name. <laughs> <laughs> to do that. So you do that. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Jill right. Pedley. John Pedley. Jill Pedley. Jill Pedley. Jill, great to see you tonight. I hope you're really well, sweet Tom. All the way from Southampton, and I hope uh, Ed, Edward's good as well. Give him, give him our very best wishes. Hope for this chair reminds you when you used to come here. Right, let's just spin you round this way. So then we can get the camera angle. Right, so what we're going to do now is pull the hair out slightly. Now what we're after is a layer. So this is the length that's going to drop. This is what we're going to take off the back. Now the way we're going to produce it is this way. The hair has to be the same height as the head. If it's too low, it will be dragging. We don't want to see dragging. We don't want too much graduation on the top. Now, the way it works is it'll be like putting the scissors in at an angle in order to create a very soft effect, which is like that. If you go up at that angle, it'll be a straight line. If you go left or right, it's too 
solid, we need it soft. So as you'll see now, I'll just demonstrate, it's called the stroking technique. Just drop that out on the bottom, straight in with the scissors. For those of you that have never seen this before, it is a beautiful technique and it creates a really nice effect. And uh, the idea is it's an invisible layer and just creates that real nice soft fit effect. Now you see I'm going to the second knuckle for this because that's the rule with it. Now what I'm going to do now is just move around slightly. So I'm moving around now to seven o'clock and coming over this way and bringing the next part in and letting it drop on the length and then just coming in at an angle. And again, if you take the length off the bottom, what happens is you lose the length. So you need to be preserving that. So drop it out first, then straight in with the scissors. And you can see, it should look like ballet. It should look really beautiful when it's being done. The scissors should just really just stroke in nice and slowly and create a nice soft effect. Okay, there's side one. We can see the length is still there. And what you've got now is gradual layers coming up slowly. Okay, let's go around this way. So we'll bring it on this one and get the other side because I just think I was not allowed to film it. Right, round to five o'clock now with this. I'll meet you back around in a minute. Charlotte. Hi. Then you can see the other side. Hi. That's right, it's my pleasure. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Do you come on after? <laughs> four o'clock. <laughs> so moving around to four o'clock now. <laughs> you never have visions of me doing this when you're working at Domino's. <laughs> well, you're glaring at me. So now you can see as I'm moving around, I've really moved my position around. So I'm coming here, we're looking at the mastoid process, coming to the corner of the chair. So I've really, really come around to the angle now to take the corner off. Because again, the corner has to come off to, to produce the effect for the shape. And the way that you check it off is literally by lifting it up at an angle. And then you can see then it creates, it should really be a very jagged edge, but not too much of a jagged edge. Where it's completely out of control, it should look right. If it was to look like that, you just take the corner off. But again, it has to be held out at this angle, and that's really what you're after. Okay, then when you just give it a little swish in the back, you start to see the movement, not the swash, that's right. And then it starts to show itself, because the fat muck blowout mousse really starts to now showcase what this haircut is looking like. Okay, so now we're gonna go straight into the apex. Again, right, let's just move it back around this way. That's it, I'll be doing some kind of tango in a minute with it. Literally as I'm moving the chair around. I do like doing that actually, when I do live cuts on stage, I do that, I tend to, yeah, you, as you know, I tend to move the chair around, yeah, everybody yeah. have a seat bag while you're sitting there, that's it. Yeah, <laughs> so we're now following the cut all the way through, you can see, and again, that length has to stay at the same height as the head, and then all we do then is just put the scissors in at the angle and create the look. This reminds you of anything? Let me put you this way around, you can see it a bit better. Oh yeah. Because I like see it. So now we just pull it back slightly, put the scissors in at an angle. It is a different way of doing it. Many years ago they used to do something called <laughs> wielding, which was bringing the scissors back. As you were cutting, these are going forward. So as I'm doing it, I'm cutting forward, but I'm actually closing the blade as I'm doing it. So that's the idea. It's very disciplined and you've got to be exceptionally disciplined to do it. The secret is with it, is to hold the elbow up the arm and then just keep the scissors slicing. You'll see how I hold the scissors slightly relaxed. I would do it so I can just move it slightly. So when it comes to practice, it's quite difficult because you go to put the scissors in at an angle too much, but the thing is you need to be slicing them towards the head. I was very fortunate enough to actually use this to represent um, a previous product company on stage in 2010. So I was really proud and honoured to be able to do that after six months of constant learning this haircut, which my wife put up with very, very well in the living room with a mess of hair all over the floor. You can see now the layers really come alive and you can really see what's going on there with it as it comes through to the back. You can't see it at the moment until I show you the mirror. That's it. Okay, so, sorry miss. Let's come back around this side now. That's it. Lee Dorman. Lee Diamond, nice to see you with us. You, my friend, you are going to be here in a few weeks' time. You need to privately message me, brother. Or should I say, Ooh! I'll get you booked in. Chutney Good. Chutney Good, great to see you with us tonight, Chutney Good. Hope you're okay. Oh, yeah, see you earlier on dropping off the ch No, picking up the children. Silent Alan Page. Alan Page. Silent Page. So, nice to see you with us tonight. I hope you're okay. Good stuff. We've got some real lookers on here tonight. That's good. So I like to uh, I like to see people joining us. It's the people that join us that make this what it is. It makes it really well worth it. Like last week when we were in the bar, 
doing the cut, it was great to have the people that were joining us, the followers and the supporters worldwide, that again, makes it worthwhile. So thank you for watching, and thank you for making this special. And thank you to all the models for what they've done Cheryl as well. Cheryl Borough, Williams. Cheryl Borough's Williams, great to see you with us tonight. I hope you're okay. Welcome. <laughs> Well, I see you on there, sweetheart. It's great to have you with us this evening. We can really now see these lasers that have come alive. But again, the length is preserved. So we've not gone too short with the length, otherwise I'll be in trouble. <laughs> I'll be properly shot. That's it. <laughs> a bit different to the first time with. Have you ever cut hair before? With the models? Don't. With the students? Yeah. Oh, just... they might be watching tonight. <laughs> just cut my hair, guys. I've never cut hair before. <laughs> Under my supervision, it was fine. Don't worry. So now we're going to come through this side. Now all the hair on this part here has to be brought back to the mastoid process in order to do this. So if you remember we're going to go round to the side now. We keep moving round to the mastoid process and everything then joins us at this point which is the corner of the chair. So everything that is on the side has to come back in section so we just bring this back in fact if I move this one you'll probably see better so everything here on this side has to come back to the mastoid process otherwise what happens is you will lose the shape what we're trying to produce and by doing this now we're taking the corner off the hair so I'm just taking the section then combing it back to the mastoid process and then we should just make it sure I don't miss any of it and I'm just taking it off just to keep it clean I can say there's a lot of discipline in this, making sure the sections are clean. Jeff Stora. Sure. Jeff Stora, great to see you with us tonight. Um, excellent um, photos you've just sent me there of the live DJ set, absolutely brilliant. Good to see you, mate, I should say. Uh, whether it's morning or good evening in your world, it's always a pleasure to have you with us. Top motorbike racer there is going to be the next best thing you've seen on the team, and trust me. Yeah, absolutely. It's all good stuff, it's all good stuff. Right, so now again we're coming back through this side. It's probably live from Shepshed tonight, I guess. Over in Loughborough. So you can now see as we're coming through this side. And again, all these sections are all coming back towards the front, but again coming over to where the mastoid process is. I say it's like a physical workout, but it's a great haircut when it's done. It just produces a really nice effect. Some people would lose probably a bit of concentration, but again, it's like anything, if you put the time in and the preparation, you can get the effect. Remember, this is a jagged effect, which then brings the hair alive. So it doesn't matter how fine the hair is or how thick the hair is, you're able to produce the effect beautifully with this technique. You know, we are doing this live tonight. We are in the salon. If you're driving by, which I know big mate will be going by soon. Which means Lynn will know what time to put the dinner on. Um, it's true. <laughs> it's not just a communication for watching people to have their hair cut. It's actually communication someone to put the dinner on. <laughs> so, so you can see now the shape's coming through as we've got half of the hair cut. We're now going to go back to where we started again. So we're going to go apex now to mastoid process. You'll be doing this in sleep tonight. Well, oh, you'll be saying it. Apex to mastoid process. Both sides now, what happens here is we're going to now work on the section between the apex and the occipital bone. So that's from here to here. So what we do now is, let me just move around again actually, because I just need to make sure we're getting right. Okay, so if we were to cut this normal, what would happen is we'd have to lift it up, because we wouldn't want to create drag. Uh, because drag's not good, so we need to be thinking about the drag. So in this case, you'd be lifting it up nice and high, making sure there's no drag, then inserting the scissors into the back and slicing it out to create the shape. And then all you're doing then is just turning slightly and coming around to this side as you're moving around into little sections on the hair, which are just like uh, sections out of a cake. And then again, just popping the scissors in. My only bit of advice on this would be to A, make sure that the hair's at the correct angle when you're cutting so you've got no drag, and secondly, make sure that the chair's at the right height for you to work with because again if it's too high it's going to be hard for you to hold your wrist up really high you can see I'm having to force my elbow up quite high for this because again it's really important you've almost got to imagine that your elbow is on a pulley while you're doing it so it's 
pulling it up towards the ceiling that way it creates the correct angle which is really important and again that's the first piece now I'm going to go around to the second piece which now I'm coming around this side again same discipline really important discipline to stand straight as if you're like a ballet dancer lifting your arms up and then just putting the scissors in and just creating the shape this is a really versatile technique you can use it on men short hair long hair medium hair I want my hair medium right. whatever <laughs> What have you decided? Like medium length. <laughs> it was like middle length. <laughs> not medium round. <rat. laughs> Over. Wind me up tonight. <laughs> you look me really like, sorry. <laughs> so, yeah. so you can see what I'm doing there. <laughs> Get back to you in a minute. Yeah. See, just as we lift it. It's time for a break now, guys. No, no, not yet, not yet. <laughs> soon, soon. Scott's just going to get like an elbow for it. <laughs> as we're talking about elbow. <laughs> That's right. So now you can see, I love you really. So you can see now as I just move this around, swish it, swish it around, you can really see that shape just creating naturally through there. So now we're going to work with the layer on the top with the parietal ridge through the side. So everything this side of the ruler comb will go up square. Everything this side will be rounded where the two will meet to create a rounded layer to a square layer. So let's go around. Let's go see if you that's it. So imagine where the line is. You need to think about where that's going to be because that's your discipline. So don't forget where that line is, okay? Right, so now we'll lift it up, put the line in because the discipline's got to be there for the square layer. So now we'll go square layer up, lifting it up nice and square, and then just Charlotte the Anne. Charlotte Anne, great to see you with us tonight. I hope you're okay, sweetheart. It's our previous model and our Saturday girl. Later. You can see now we're just moving it around slightly, so I'm now just putting the rounded angle in, as you can see. So now we go back into the, the parietal ridge, everything goes square up, the elbow goes up and then literally just in and cut. This is where you've got to watch your fingers everybody because it is really important that you think about where you're going with it because you can cut your fingers again, rounded angle now, that's the length it stays, then we just take this off as we're going through the side. And again it's the second knuckle that's the discipline. CJ Jones. CJ Jones, great to see you with us, CJ Jones. I hope you're okay tonight. Woo! And hairdressing training is going really well. We need to meet it sometimes, CJ Jones. You're really cool. You need to let me know um, when we can meet up. Maybe I could probably come to your college and do uh, a little masterclass for you or something. But no, good to see you work. I'll keep my eye on you, CJ Jones. Really good. So now we can see as we go through again to the parietal ridge, that's the discipline. And again, keeping the arm nice and straight because it's really important. We don't want to see anybody going like that. Keep that section really clean and tidy. And then again, we're just coming through to the edge, which again, we're just taking off the edge. So now we'd have the length there and the length there and what's in between we take away. So when we cross check, we look for the parietal ridge again because it's really important. And all you do then is lift it up. So it's square, anything needs to come off, it comes off. Anything below the parietal ridge, you literally just pull out at the rounded angle and Paul just make King. sure that's soft. Paul King! King E! Woo! Hopefully the family's okay. Um, I am sorry I couldn't not speak to you the other day while I was doing a live feed in the public house, but I hope you and the family are really well. Uh, always great to have you with us on here. Great to see the car back as well, and uh, I'm hoping that you're okay. It's good to see you with us tonight. Let's come back around this way. King E! So, now we come back to the other side. Remember the discipline here, folks, is the parietal ridge. Remember where that is. So we now go through the top part, because again it's really important, so just get a clue there, lifting it up so we can just get the piece we need and then take it off. And then now literally just pull it to the side, because again we need to be thinking about that parietal ridge. And then literally the arm has to come up, you see my arm has to really exaggerate over to get this. This is the difficult side out of the two because you've got to really get your arm at the right angle. So, prior to ridge again, nice and clean on the section, taking it off, second knuckle rule, and then literally rounded angle to take it off, just make sure it's on the second knuckle, so it doesn't look very good if I tell you to do a second knuckle and I'll go past the second knuckle, that's when you're liable to cut your knuckles, that's why we say that, also, when you have to think about it, your second knuckle is where the most amount of tension is when you cut hair, anything past the second knuckle and you lose tension and you will also cut your fingers so it's um, quite a bad habit to get into once you start cutting past that. One of the rules that I'm really hot on 
games, um, certainly since I was uh, cutting hair from a long time ago. This year is 30 years. How scary is that? For some of you, probably you've not been on this earth that long, which of course I know that's the case with you. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> thanks I for that. <laughs> that's it. Make sure you film my side dad where I look really young. Okay. Yeah. Which side is that? Uh, both of them. Yeah, the that's back, me. Of, back of my head. Do <laughs> 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 you know this comb? If I flick it really hard against your school, it really hurts. Does it? It does. Trust me. It does. Right. Make sure everything feels okay. Yeah, this is like threats. Abuse. Blackmail. Abuse. Abuse. Beth Thompson. Beth Thompson. Great to see you with us tonight. I hope you're okay. Thank you for joining us tonight. Not people. Mike. Good to see you. Ooh. Nice to see you, Tucker. Good to see you with us tonight. So now you can actually see we've now got a haircut that's become alive. And uh, the nice thing with this is it creates that really full effect on there. Okay, it's time to bring in our next product into the wardrobe tonight. It's uh, Fat Mock, yeah, that's the one. Foiling my eyes in the spray. Well done. You can do my job. I'll tell you what, why don't I just take the camera from you? Oh, I cut it on. You put it on tonight. Oh, you put it on. <laughs> Here is the other one. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Awesome. I told you it's a laugh. So, Fat Mock Volume Eyes in Spray. I'm just going to put this on. Now, what this will do is wrap itself round the hair and really thicken it up. And the idea is that when I do the blow dry, um, it will give us that effect. Now we are, that's right, because you've got fine hair. Not really fine, but you have got fine hair. So we need something to thicken it up a little bit and give us a bit more fullness when we do the blow dry. Right, so let's just have a quick chat about what we're going to do with the blow dry tonight. So we're also bringing another product to now. We're going to be introducing now Head Muck 21 Miracle Treatment. So it's the first time we've ever used this live tonight because, uh, again, I thought I'd bring something different to the table. And this actually has 20 different uses. You can use it for many different things. You can use it for finishing off the hair. You can use it for blow drying the hair. You can use it for just about anything. It's uh, got so many different uses. Now, it's quite a relaxed liquid. So what you do is just rub it well into your hands, claw it through the hair because, again, uh, the hand was naturally created as rake, which is fantastic, and you can distribute the product. That's the key word. Distribute the product tonight. Oh, key words tonight. Key distribute words. the product. So, as we now put this through, I'll be using this as a blow drying lotion tonight. What we're going to do is, whilst you're um, off the air with us very shortly, because we'll disappear in a minute, what we'll be doing is subdividing the hair into a horseshoe section. Every section. Whilst you're disappeared, just to explain to you, will be then blow dried. I'll then have to wrap it around my fingers like this, and then put it into the hair and create this effect, and then pin it. So when you come back later on, you'll see this all created all over the hair. And then when we let every one of these pins out, it will create a real natural sort of curl, which some of you are going now. Oh, that's magical! It is magical. It is. Uh, an interesting blow dry, but again, when you come back to us very shortly, that's what you'll see. That finish, and you can see just now how it's sort of dropping a bit more, yeah, a little bit more sort of wavy. So, the idea is now we're going to disappear. Thank you so much for staying with us for the haircut, and um, we're going to give you a comfort break so you can put the children to bed, you can watch EastEnders or Coronation Street, whichever you decide to do. But thank you so much for being with us. On behalf of Charlotte, my father, and myself, we will be back very shortly with the finale or the finish of Charlotte Mousley's, Mousley's <laughs> hair tonight. Literally, I cracked myself. Take care. Don't go away for too long. Stay tuned. Ciao.